Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 2130, maximum twin sum of a linked list. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have the first example from the Likud website. So in this problem, we are given even number of nodes in a linked list. And we need to add two nodes simultaneously. So in the problem statement, it says we need to pick the first node and the last node at the start. Then we need to add the node values, which is nothing but five and one. So we will get six, right? Then we need to move these two pointers towards each other. So now I will pick four and two. So we need to move the pointers towards each other, right? Then we need to add four and two. Again, we are going to get six. So the maximum between 6 and 6 is 6, so we will return 6, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially, we are going to reverse the first half of the linked list, right? The reason why we are reversing the first half of the linked list is that we cannot access directly the last node, right? So in order to make it more optimal, we are going to reverse the first half of the linked list so initially my slow pointer and fast pointer will point to the head of the linked list that is five here then i will be having a previous pointer where i will initially initialize it as none then i will write the loop until my fast pointer and the fast dot next pointer exist then i will move my fast pointer two steps front right so in this case, fast dot next dot next. So fast pointer will point to two now. Then I will make my next pointer. That is a temporary node, right? I have initialized a next pointer where I will initialize my next pointer as my slow dot next. So next pointer will point it to four. Slow is five. So slow dot next is four. Then I will initialize slow dot next as previous value. So here, slow dot next is going to become none. Previous is none, right? So slow dot next is going to be none. Then my previous will be slow. So previous will be pointing to five now. Right? Then I will initialize slow pointer as the next pointer. Right? So here we have made slow dot next as none. So here, it doesn't have any kind of connection. So again, I need to move my fast pointer. So fast exist and fast dot next is also exist. So we will move my fast pointer. So fast dot next dot next is none. Right? It's going to be none. Then next pointer will point it to slow dot next. So it points to the node two. Slow dot next is two, right? So we are going to make it as two. Then we have to change the slow dot next as previous value. So slow dot next will point to the previous node. That is five, right? So here it points to none. So we are reversing the first half here. Then we are going to make previous value as the slow pointer and slow pointer as the next pointer. Since fast is none, we are not going to run the loop further. We are just going to break out of the loop. So the previous pointer is pointing to node four here, right? It's pointing to node four. So after reversing, the linked list is going to look like this, four and five. And previous will be pointing to node four, right? And there is no connection here. There is no connection. This is separate and this is separate. Then we are going to have the result variable where I will initialize it as minus infinity. Then we are going to add the previous and slow pointer values. So in this case, four and two, by adding them, we are going to get six. Then the result is minus infinity. And then we are going to take the maximum between these two. We are going to get six. So result will be six now. Then we need to move the previous and slow pointer simultaneously, right? So previous will point to five, 
and slow pointer will point to 1. So again I need to add previous and slow pointer values. So I'm going to get 6 again, right? 5 and 1 is going to be 6 and result is 6 as well. And maximum between these two is going to be 6. So we are just going to return 6 at the end since we don't have any other further values to check, right? So the time complexity will be order of n and space will be constant space. That's all the logicals. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially I will be pointing my slow pointer and fast pointer to the head node. Then I will initialize the previous pointer as none. Then I'm writing the loop to reverse the first half of the linked list, right? Then I will initialize the result variable as minus infinity at the start. Then I will write a loop and I will run the loop until I have done with the linked list nodes by adding the previous and slow pointer values and I will be taking maximum between these values and I will finally return result variable, right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys.